today on this uh, foggy day in the Napa Valley, it's a great opportunity to continue planting young vines that are grown as a, what we call green grown vine. They are actually grafted in, in the nursery and grown in pots. And uh, you can see here that this vine is uh, approximately about four months old and it's a got good caliber and a sufficient growth to be transplanted into the ground. This is a new planting that's been going on over here at this uh, site and we've actually incorporated a state-of-the-art trellis system, drip system, as well as state-of-the-art clones and rootstocks for the future. And everything we look at doing in planting a new vineyard, establishing a new vineyard is generally for the future because we want it to be here for quite a while, 25 or 30 years. So this is a young Cabernet vine and we not really care if it, uh, at this point, if it's got a lot of single trunk or a multi-trunk because it'll get pruned down to two buds this winter and come again and be trained up these uh, training rods that you see here next to me. So. The ground is pre-watered the day before, so it's nice and moist, and the crew is digging the holes, and then they take these vines out of these plastic tubes, like you would a tomato or a vegetable that you might get from the nursery, similar idea, and gently pull it through the plastic carton, keeping the roots intact. And you can see this uh, media has got a lot of rice holes and a lot of other things in here, assuring that we have good root structure. Here's a young root right here. So these vines are placed in the hole with that graft unit approximately three to four fingers above the soil profile. And then moist dirt is pushed in around it and keeping that trunk straight and close to the uh, training rod as possible. Then we just go ahead and tamp in a little bit with the foot as we want to make sure that there's a good contact between that potted media and the uh, soil that it's been planted in. And then after the crew goes through and puts all the vines in the ground, then they come and place a milk carton around the vine and put this spaghetti tube inside that milk carton so it makes sure it gets water on a frequent basis to ensure good rooting. Milk carton is good because it helps protect this growth from rabbits as well as if we need to do any spraying or anything like that but it's a, a little like a little hot house and uh, it gets a little bit of heat going inside this carton but it's protection for the rabbits from feeding on these vines. Two things that could be a problem in planting young vines like this is one by leaving these uh, plastic tags on that identifies the whole history of this vine from the graft date to the plant date in the pots to the clone variety because actually this can girdle. It doesn't stretch. It'll actually girdle the vines over time. And what I mean by that is just like having a band on here. The other is by not removing these vines out of these pots. And we have seen instances where vineyards might get seven or eight years old and they stop growing virtually even though there's a pretty good sized hole here on the bottom if you don't remove this vine out of this pot and you just plant this whole pot, yes, the roots will come through, but again, this whole plastic pot acts like a big girdle and will actually kill off or limit the growth of the vine from really growing to be a strong, healthy vine. So it is very important to, for two things, to remove the plastic container the vines are grown in, and second, where the tags are, to remove them as well from the trunks. Now, not all vines in a flat of, uh, they come in have tags on them. It's just one per 20 vines per se. But again, it's uh, very important for the planting crew to recognize that and to remove these uh, plastic identifying tags of what's going, the history of these vines. One of the reasons we talked about in planting new vines and trying to plant the trunks as close to the stake as possible or the young vine close to the stake as possible, the support stake, the support rod, many terms different again. It's the fact we want that vine to grow very straight up along the, that support stake or, or rod. And so if by planting it right adjacent to the stake, it ensures that to happen. 
again to point out on this vine that's probably 10 years old. This is the graft union and we're more than four or five inches from the soil. So I'm not going to worry about sign roots coming off of here and the sign, which in this case is Cabernet Sauvignon, taken over the rootstock. We still have the benefit of the rootstock that was planted here to be the provider of the nutrients, the disease resistant, the insect resistance. So we're expecting probably our first small crop in uh, two years in two harvests from the time they're planted and uh, we'll have a very small crop of fruit if everything goes well from these vines. Again, uh, when we come in to prune this winter or next, next spring actually, we're going to come down and prune very short into two buds. And what, this is a bud right here and there's another bud here and there's actually one here, but basically it'll be pruned off and all of this growth will go away and give these, chan these vines a chance to really push forward and we'll just train one trunk up to this wire here, which is going to be our fruit wire. And more than likely, all of these vines will be cane prune, which is a system that we're using more and more in Cabernet, especially, to spread that fruit out versus the cordon. So this will be our cane wire, and these are our foliage catch wires up above.